Hello makers! Let's learn together how to print a pattern that is too big for a A4 format, uh, the common size for a home printer. Uh, first, go download Adobe Reader DC if you don't have it, it's free. Uh, then go pick your file in your computer from the My Computer menu and then Browse button. I use this pattern of a MacBook Pro sleeve that you can download on my website. Click on the little printer icon to start setting up your printing. Uh, select the right printer, it's always better. Then select the poster option uh, among the four available options. This is where the magic happens. Uh, Adobe is creating a set of posters based on the size of uh, the pattern. Uh, be careful that the scale is at 100% and that you checked the cut mark option and the labels option. Uh, this will help you later in the process. You can double check if the orientation makes you consume less paper, but it's oftentimes the same amount of paper sheets. And then you can start printing. Here is where the previous options can be helpful. Uh, the pieces are numbered to help you. And you have small marks in the corners to help you with the cutting. Like so, you just need to align the ruler with the marks and cut through. Uh, pro tips here. Uh, be careful to keep a little bit of margin inside the part of the paper sheet you will keep. It will help you align uh, the paper in the next step. Uh, don't cut too much to avoid holes later. Uh, now I'm gonna put a small cutting section at a 20 speed up time. Put all the pieces next to each other to double check that everything you need is here and that the pattern is complete, just in case. Uh, here you can use removable tape to join together the different pieces. Um, I tried to put the tape on the front, uh, but I found it easier to overlap the tape uh, and the papers on the back. Uh, but there is really no wrong way to do it, uh, you just pick the one you prefer really. I didn't record everything here, so let's jump on the next step. Now you put everything together, let's cut every piece of your pattern so you can then use it on your leather. Don't get too close from the lines, uh, keep a bit of room, uh, it will be easier to manipulate on your leather. Every piece should have a bit of white space around it now. And we are already at the end of this uh, small tutorial. Um, if you want to see how I use this pattern on leather, you can watch the making of the MacBook Pro sleeve on the suggested video after the credits. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tips, tutorials and patterns. See you makers!